afternoon. I wanted to do a reading. Well, I'm not sure if I really want to do the reading, but are we going to get a handle on things before society totally burns out? Um, I'm kind of afraid to look and see what we have, but underneath of it all, um, I had to restart this. It took me over five minutes just to shuffle the cards and pull cards. I went, oh God, that five minutes of shuffling is too much. So um, what do we have underneath of it all is looking at the beginning, the end, the fool card. What are we going to do? Okay. Then we have the car of star, hope. Hope. So the card of hope, beginnings and endings. This is new beginnings. Usually this card is the card of Trump in the things, but hopefully in this reading it is not the card of Trump and his hate mongers, okay? We, I'm going to look at this as the card of star, the card of hope. New beginnings, alchemist. We really need to start putting these things in motion if we don't want this to be the end. We need to really uh, start a new cycle and the alchemy of seeing all the things that need to be put together to make things better. Okay. So let's see what we've got. Let me put these out here. Okay. So let me put these over here. We'll do these one at a time. First off, in the center, we have visions. We need to have a new vision of where we want this society to go. Child of worlds, you know, we need to take a fresh look, a fresh approach uh, with things. Player, child of worlds, like a child, be um, learning something new in the process of learning, having a vision. What is it we're growing? Okay, what have we planted? What are the seeds we're putting in there? What is the harvest we want? Are we doing enough? The seven of coins, are we doing enough? What are the seeds we planted? What is the harvest? What are we doing in the world? Okay, and beauty, are we going towards things of beauty? Are we putting more beauty into the world? more higher level things or are we going on the hate factor we have two ways to go which way are we going to go with this okay okay we really need to have some growth we need to offer people sanctuary we need to put that energy out to bring people together synthesis we need to see these things and we need to start doing it we need to go into this with this you know refreshing uh change of really seeing we need to put all this stuff together we need to take care of the climate we need to take care of people wanting to come in to aid them to aid other countries so we don't have people that want to you know escape where they're at where they don't have to escape so all of these things we need to start looking at reaching out bringing together beauty for growth. If we want this growth, if we want society to grow and be better, we best be starting to put these things out there. Underneath of it all, we need to become more sensitive 
This is like the card of the psychic, somebody that uh, can, can sense what's going on, pull those energies together in innocence, not in a calculated way, okay? This is a burden that we all need to carry. This is, this is the thing that we have to do. This is heavy. It's heavy. Harmony, okay? We need to work together. This is a big thing. We're coming to the end of a cycle. This is on us. Either we do it, we carry this burden in harmony, we do it in innocence rather than calculation, and we get more sensitive to what's out there. That's our foundation. That's what we need to look at. Let's see what's above it. Yeah, surrendering surrendering to the universe, surrendering into that universal flow. Okay. King of Swords, healing. Yeah. We need to basically put down the sword of anger, have a sword of truth so that we can start healing. We need to bring healing to the planet. It's going to take a lot of strength. It's going to take a lot of strength of character. Just putting that truth out there that the universe is one, that we're one, and we need to surrender into that rather than causing division. We need to really come together and start seeing everyone as humanity rather than us against them. Coming out the other side, strength. We need strength. We need to put in place balance. You know, right now we're balanced on the edge of a sword for sure. Okay, we need to put into place opportunity. And last but not least, we really need to awaken to this. We need to awaken to the fact that people need opportunity in the world. They need to have a place that's safe, that's in balance. And we have to be strong in those convictions to stand up to those powers of hate, those powers of division, those powers of us against them. If we're going to go forward, this is a very crucial time in our planet's history. It's like a, a, a moment of divisionary, a dividing line. Which way are we gonna go? This is open, okay? From what I'm reading here, this is an opening. We have the opening, but we've got to put it in place. It's not gonna happen just spontaneously. We have to actively engage these things. We have to look at the corruption that's there and get rid of it. We have to educate these people that are the white supremacists in their fear mongering, you know, uh, very wrong ideation that there's only so much to go around and they need to get theirs and they need to be afraid if somebody else comes in. No, they need to see that there is opportunity for all if we work together, okay? So this is a very, thank God, it's a very positive reading. I was not sure going into this if I wanted to read this or not because we are at such a crucial point. And it just seems, you know, with having uh, judges that are these federalists that turned a blind eye to crime, that turn a blind eye to say there's the hierarchy. If you're up here and you're white and you've gotten away with it, you know, don't worry about it. They're just getting away with corruption and money and whatever. No, no big deal. Nobody's getting hurt. Well, yeah, everybody's getting hurt. Everybody's getting hurt when you have those guys that are corrupt and out for themselves only. You know, that everybody's getting hurt with this. So yeah, it is a it is a crime and we need to come to a point where people need to get beyond greed. People don't need big palaces. 
people don't need these big yachts that takes more to run for an hour than most people's salary is for a year, okay? That kind of greed needs to go. How much do they actually need? How much can you actually spend? What, you know, what is it? Ridiculous. So there needs to be an awakening of consciousness for people and being willing to put into place what we need to put into place to go forward. It is totally possible, okay? And now we're in that moment of shift where it's a crucial tipping point. Which way are we going to go? My vote is for this direction, okay? This is my vote towards more cooperation, more aiding those countries that need the help, giving sanctuary to those that need it, to come out of this fear, doom and gloom, to get out of this idea that the top 1% needs more, and then hopefully they'll trickle it down to the little people that are begging, okay? We need to get out of that idea. You know, it used to be that the corporations, their workers, they treated them like family and they cared for all of their workers. Now they don't. Now it's the bottom line. Greed. I don't give a rat's ass. They're dispensable. I can always get somebody new in here. Okay? As long as I get mine. And they've got a hole. It's never enough. This unending hole of greed. If these people could be re-educated to understand if they treated their workers like family, they treated them well, they would be loyal, everybody would be happier, they would be more productive. You give up a little bit, okay? You don't need all the greed, this hole that you've got going. Okay, you don't need this big division. You're in some ivory tower have no clue what the workers are going through, okay? I wish every head of a company, CEO, owner, lived on the salary they pay their workers. Let them do it for a month or two and see the reality of the situation so they can develop some compassion and understanding as to what people are going through. Okay. They need the hard reality to be seen rather than this disconnect that everybody lives in an ivory tower. I don't know what their problem is. They should all pull them up by their own bootstraps like I've done. Okay. This, this attitude needs to change. We are, there is so much work to be done so much work. So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the readings. Have a great day. Aho.